Hey, what's up, guys? It's Anita Serene, and welcome to the July predictions on what July is going to bring you for love, career, money, and what you need to hear from God, your spirit guides, your angels. We're going to get the lowdown and the tea on your full July in this psychic reading. So if you guys are new, what I need you to do is pick one of the three options with your intuition. And then when you pick an option, fast forward to the timestamp side for provide in the pinned comment as well as the description. Click the timestamp next to your chosen option and it will fast forward you right to your July psychic reading. Take as much time as you need to meditate on the options, pause the video if you need to, but we are about to get started. So one tip I will give you is if you're having a hard time picking an option with your intuition, I highly suggest using a random number picker to do it for you. Generate a number between one to four, and whichever it generates is the one you're supposed to listen to. Whichever way works for you is the good way. Just be sure to take your time in choosing an option and really, you know, tune yourself into the energy. I'm not going to ask you to breathe or meditate or any of that crap, but you do want to be mindful when picking an option to ensure the most accurate psychic reading. All right, guys. We're actually about to get started, so if you need more time, be sure to pause that video. See you at your reading. Hey, how's it going, group number one? It is your friend on the internet, Anita Serene, and we are here with a July prediction. Yes, we are for love, career, and money. This is going to be audio only this month. Um, if you like this style, join my Patreon. So group one, for those of you who chose um, this option right here, Let's get into your July. What is going on? What is happening? Um, what is the deal? So I'm seeing here, okay, you're crying a lot, group one. We're having some shower cries. It's time to find something to make you happy, group one. It's, it's, I'm hearing like the universe is saying to you, listen, I know the Smiths is fun to listen to and feel sorry for yourself. Okay. Like it, it's a lot of fun to listen to that song that goes, I would go out tonight, but I haven't got a stitch to wear. I get it. I get it. It's fun, but it's time to stop crying. It's time to pick yourself up and find something that's going to make you happy. I do not believe that life is meant to be mostly suffering. You know, I don't believe that. I think when you're unhappy, it's because the universe is asking you to go find something that's going to cure that feeling of emptiness. And yes, I do feel like there are cures, maybe not permanent cures because sadness is a part of the human condition, but there is certainly a cure for your sadness, whatever that might be. For some of you, the cure for your sadness is just eating food. Food is one of the blessings here on earth, guys. Like I know a lot of us are on Ozempic, semi-glutide, but you can still enjoy good food. I mean, if you're taking too much of a high dose, that's actually causing you to look like a skeleton. Talk to your doctor about lowering the dose because, you know, I'm getting this energy here where a lot of you straight up food is going to make you happy. You know, go to the store and spend money on that expensive mangoes and pears and air one food. The reason why food is one of the blessings here on earth. And one of the blessings here in life is because it food is seen in astrology through the sign of Taurus. And Taurus's planetary ruler is Venus, and Venus is the planet in astrology of blessings. So Taurus rules everything, every material, earthly desire, pleasure, and blessing, and food falls into that category. So you know what? If you're sad, go buy yourself a chocolate cake. Or if you're a fitness girly, go buy yourself a protein brownie, okay? Like, go get some nice food, girl. Like, it's okay. You should eat. Eating is good for you, okay? All right, cool. Um, some of you could be Taurus, sun, moon, or risings. I do see that here. All right. So, ooh, okay. I love this for you. We have a... Um, 
Ooh, your voice is like butter, group number one. Yes, it is. Listen, you have a gift to offer to the world, and that is your voice. Your voice is healing. Your voice is mystical. But not only that, I'm hearing that your beauty... Okay, so I finally got it. Sometimes it takes me a little bit to really tap into... Um, the message. It takes me a little while. And if you guys, you know, are the impatient type, you can always make this video play faster. But your beauty, if you want to know what kind of beauty you have, you have a mermaid siren beauty. Because on TikTok, there's this meme that goes, you're either a witch beauty, a siren beauty, a fairy beauty, or you know, so on and or vampire beauty. If you want to know what kind of beauty you have, it's the mermaid siren beauty. You guys might have like, you know, really white or red hair or eyes that are far apart or light colored eyes or even like a siren's voice. So some of you could be uh, singers, you know, because when we think of the sirens, we think of the voice, the siren. And... I think one of the most attractive features on you is definitely your lips and your smile. And that's something you should know. Okay. Now, let's see what's going on here for the rest of your July. I'm seeing money coming in through social media. So if you guys are social media influencers or your business is on social media or through social media platforms, I do see quite a bit of money coming in through that for you in the month of July. All right. Now I am seeing a masculine figure in your family. Okay. Um, you are very connected. This could be your husband. This could be your father or just the closest male to you who holds a leadership position in your family in July is going to play a huge role in your life. Uh, this person I'm hearing prays for you and prays for your wishes to be granted and also just sends you really good vibes and, um, Praise, I'm just hearing they pray for you and send you good vibes. That's all that's really going through. So if you notice like things start working out for you and things are less hard, just know it's this male figure in your family who prays for you, which is interesting because a lot of the times men aren't very spiritual. They don't really pray that often. Now, be careful if you guys are, um, you know, of childbearing age, because I am seeing a lot of fertility here for you in July. So use those condoms, take your birth control on time. Um, You know, you don't want to have a baby unless you want to have a baby, then I do see conception here. But for others of you where that's not the case at all, I am seeing a lot of creativity being birthed here for you. Um, you know, you're going to have a lot of brilliant ideas that you're able to birth on the material plane very, very easily. And it's almost going to be like, oh, you have this cute idea for TikTok and you just do it and it takes two seconds and oh, it goes viral or like you have these cute ideas just for how to decorate your room or how to dress and it just falls together perfectly. This is going to be a major month of creativity for you. And also I'm hearing in the past months, you have been very bored with your dating options or just very bored with the opportunities coming into your life, you've been like, man, like in the previous months, you were like, I don't like my roster anymore. I don't like my dating options anymore. I don't like the opportunities coming in for me. Nothing is exciting. July, that's going to change. I do see multiple good offers and love coming to you. So if you've been swiping no on those dating apps like a million times, you're finally going to find one person you're ready to swipe right on, which I know for my ladies out there, you know what I'm talking about. We will literally swipe on Tinder for like 5,000 swipes before we find one person we would not mind being out with on a date, right? 
I do see good options coming for you and love multiple options um, that you're actually excited about, right? Also, if you guys deal with a wound of rejection where, you know, in the past, maybe some of you guys were a little awkward growing up, like you weren't born Adrienne Lima or Megan Fox. Um, Maybe you are late bloomers and you have a wound of rejection where you experienced a lot of romantic rejection. You experienced a lot of friendship rejection. You just experienced like rejection. Um, this is changing for you in July. You know how that annoying saying where people say rejection is God's protection. And then I just want to say, well, God, stop sending me things that aren't for me. Just send me the person that is for me because we don't need any more rejection, right? There's this energy of you do have a wound of rejection where you might reject yourself before someone else can reject you. But listen, you're going to be getting acceptance where, oh, 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 like they're asking you for that second, third, fourth date. You know what I mean? Okay, there's something here that is coming through about your career. So I'm going to get to that. I do see a little bit of trouble in your career in July. Um, love what kind of trouble, Holy Spirit? Please clarify this. You might be presented with two different pathways in your career in July. And you are going to have to Um, reject one offer to accept the other. So you're going to have to choose which direction to reject and which direction to accept. And you're going to be very much in your head about this in July, because I'm seeing in your career, there are two distinct paths that you can take. One path you will have to throw away for the other. And that might be a difficult decision for you in the month of July. Um, but that is really the only thing I'm seeing. All right. Your health is looking amazing. People might be asking you, Oh, Hey, um, what kind of workouts do you do? What's your diet? Like people might actually be singing your praises about your fitness and your health and the way that you look, you know, people might be like, Oh damn girl. Like, what kind of workouts have you been doing? Or if you're a guy, same thing. Um, You're going to get complimented on your physical physique and your fitness. And I really feel like people are going to be asking you what kind of workouts and food you eat because you look so good. Now, I do see a lot of hot and heavy and sexual energy coming in your love life, but I am going to... um, Actually, I'm being told we're going to switch over and look at your love life in the month of July. All right, let's look at your energy in love group number one. What is your energy? Oh, okay. So your energy is you want your love life to be like the movies. And guess what? I believe it can be like the movies, but The thing about the movies is the movies takes all of the best parts of love and condenses it into one fast food candy explosion in your mouth. Do you know what I mean? Um, Real life moves at a slower pace and there's a bunch of boring filler in between. So, you know, just keep that in mind. But you're definitely looking for that movie when Harry met Sally. Well, maybe not. That's actually a really poor storyline. That notebook type of love where it's like a spiritual connection. And you know what? There ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm going to tell you a secret. I want that too. Yes, I do. Okay. So when are you um, getting in love in July? Well, you're attracting a lot of broke people. I'm just going to be honest. Um, not, not just, not just materially broke, but people that just are not measuring up to your standards. 
it's just they come up short of your standards. And it might be because it's just a divine timing thing where, you know, God has a record up in heaven of when you're going to meet your soulmate, when you're going to be born, when you will ultimately die. And those are things that only God knows. And love is one of those things. Now, especially women, we are fed this narrative that if we are pretty enough, if we're skinny enough, if we're charming enough, if we look like Megan Fox and we are absolutely bomb in the bedroom, we're not too crazy, we're cool, we can convince a player to fall in love with us or we can convince somebody with how amazing we are to live up to our standards. But that is not reality. That is a distorted fantasy um, where we put way too much pressure on ourselves. And I feel like you might be like, is there something wrong with me? Because I keep attracting losers. And not just that you think you're better than everyone. It's just like, damn, like, you know, all I'm asking for is a little respect when I get home. No, but you know, you might just be as like wanting the bare minimum. Like I just want a guy who, you know, puts in effort, buys me flowers, takes me on a date, takes care of their appearance and has like some sort of aesthetic that, you know, matches who they are. You might actually just be wanting the bare minimum and you're finding hard to find that bare minimum. Now, earlier in your spread, I was picking up, there are some developments that are going down in your love life where I am seeing, um, I'm hearing the words like obsession, um, infatuation, crush, you know, being really excited by someone coming in for you in July. I'm not sure if it's how you feel about somebody or if it's how someone feels about you. Um, but it kind of feels like someone has been intentionally or unintentionally manifesting you and you are like a magnet being drawn into their energy. Now, you know, a lot nowadays, a lot of dudes are into the law of attraction. I mean, I heard Machine Gun Kelly the other day talk about the law of attraction. I think I also heard Post Malone talk about it as well, but it feels like, you know, someone is definitely manifesting you. It could be like someone is just manifesting someone with your qualities or someone has been thinking about you so much, looking at your photos so much, praying and wishing for you that the energy is pulling you towards them. That's what I really feel. And, you know, some signs this is for you is recently on your For You page, you could have seen videos such as somebody is manifesting you and you might have blown it off and been like, oh, no, that's not for me. You know, that's that's dumb but it is for you. Now, let's see what kind of person is manifesting you or, um, okay, we have trine card in reverse. We have the 10 of swords. What kind of person? So recently, someone who's been manifesting you has been going through a stroke of bad luck in their life. Not attractive, but this is the energy. How would you feel about them? We have the five of wands. Conflict. Listen, look out for somebody who is kind of confrontational or mean to you. And I'm not condoning the belief that if someone is mean to you, it means they like you. I think that is really, really stupid and messed up and just so dumb. But I will say in your reading... If you notice in July that someone is really confrontational to you, like making hate videos about you if you're a public figure or sending you nasty messages or leaving nasty comments or, you know, trying to argue with you about everything or being a little defensive and a little like trying to like knock you down. I feel like this person is trying to hide the fact that, um, they are harboring deep feelings of obsession and infatuation because I don't think they feel good enough because the person who's manifesting you right now, they've been going through a stroke of bad luck, like their car is breaking down, they're not doing well at work, they've lost their job, something like not so great, um, and they've been feeling really down and really out. 
And this might be why this person is obsessed with you because they're focused on you. How would you see this person? How do you feel about this person? Hmm. I'm also hearing guys like um, some of you might also be going through, uh, on top of that, a lot of pain yourself. You might feel like God is just taking, you know, God is being unfair. The universe is being unfair. You might feel really unlucky and you might be struggling um, a lot in your life and you might be using a love interest to distract yourself from that pain instead of just feeling the void that's in your life. You might be obsessing over someone, okay? And the advice is to just how you develop strength is by facing your fears head on. I'll give you guys an example. I live in California where marijuana is legal and um, I'm not encouraging anyone to do this, but you know, when I take marijuana, I get really paranoid. I get really scared, but sometimes I will go and take an edible and force myself to face that fear because no one has ever died from marijuana. Even though sometimes when you get anxiety, you think you might die. I actually force myself to take it and face that anxiety without drinking or distracting myself to embrace the pain, embrace the worst case scenario. And then when you felt like for me personally, after I suffer that paranoia and I face fear in its eyes and I face that anxiety, um, right afterwards, I actually have a really good time. I'm eating good food. I'm laughing my ass off. I'm paying attention to a TV show. I'm being productive. I'm calling my mom. We're having a good laugh. You know, it's always after you overcome moments of anxiety and fear successfully, you grow uh, self-esteem. And so instead of fantasizing about this great love or this person that you're projecting qualities onto, use this as an opportunity to gain strength in yourself. And instead of focusing on somebody else, okay? So that me- you, you know which message was for you. It could have been both, honestly. It's funny because the universe is very circular, cy- circular, oh Lord, circular. And um, sometimes when you are obsessing over somebody because you're trying to escape your shitty reality, someone is doing that to you behind your back, all right? Um, and vice versa. So listen, just know these challenges are building up your strength and stamina. And you want that because let me tell you something, life is not all peaches and rainbows. That's heaven. And we're not in heaven. We're on earth. And the planet Saturn exists. The planet Pluto exists. It's not just a Jupiter, Venus, um, orgy down here on earth. Life gets hard and you need that inner strength in order to survive. Nowadays are in America, especially our survival isn't around food. It's, it isn't around um, shelter for most of us. Thank God. It's around emotional resilience and strength. And if you don't have that, if you are put in a unfavorable circumstance, you will quickly crumble, um, whether it be through drugs, self-destruction. I mean, just look at all of the people um, who were born into massive amounts of wealth and ease. They never grew that emotional resilience. They're all ODing from drugs. And, you know, it's really, it's really sad. So in, whatever you're going through is building a strength inside of you that cannot be taken away. That is one thing that can't be taken away, all right? Now, um, let's see uh, if there's any more exciting developments in your love life, like what is going to transpire, what is going to go down, and then we're going to see what kind of person you're attracting. Um, So who... I'm hearing, okay guys, I'm hearing something about a Halloween wedding, a goth themed wedding, something to do with a fall themed Halloween wedding. I'm really seeing that for you guys. Your next wedding, I know this is, listen, and if you're a Haley Bieber type of girl, you sit your butt down, don't, don't go anywhere. This next message will be for you. But for a lot of you, I am seeing a gothic Halloween style fall harvest uh, wedding for you. Now, if that ain't your aesthetic and it will never be your aesthetic, I'm also getting an image of if you guys are wondering when you will be in a committed relationship, I am hearing when you start to see Halloween decorations enter the store. Who is your next committed relationship? 
Let's take a look at that. Okay, guys, who is your next committed relationship or the person you are going to commit to uh, fully? Not a situationship, not a friends with benefits, not a time waster or a time killer. Like the next person where you guys have sleepovers and you go to the 7-Eleven and you get slushies and... They love you with makeup, without makeup, you know, they, they want to take you out, you know, all of that stuff. The next serious commitment. And boys, because I know a lot of you boys watch me. Listen, don't be with a woman just because you're lonely and lead her on. That ain't right. If you're a man listening to me, um, either you want to be in a relationship with her or you don't. And if she's not the woman you want to commit to, don't waste her time. You should just let her go because that's the kinder thing to do. You know? All right. And Venus will smile down on you and bless you with a beautiful girlfriend if you do that. I promise. Okay. So um, who is the next person you will commit to? What are they like? Ooh, super moon. They will be very expressive with how much they love you. There's not going to be a guessing game with the super moon. Um, it's going to be all over their face, all in their eyes, all like you will not be doing one single tarot reading because you are going to know exactly how this person feels. Um, there's also this element where... There's this element where I'm going to be honest, like you're going to have this person being kind of a simp for you. So you have to be careful that you don't lose respect for them because it's almost like you're their kryptonite. Like normally they're a strong person and you'll be like, do this. And they'll be like, okay, you know what I mean? Um, and there's also this image of you being very attract. They're, they're going to be so attracted to you and your body. You're going to feel like the most desirable person on earth, regardless of whether or not you actually feel that way. Because listen, they're going to be so into you. They're not going to be looking at anyone else. And yes, that exists for you guys. Like this person is going to be so addicted to you and your body and who you are. They're not, they're going to be so fixated on you. They're not even going to notice another woman's beauty. They're not going to look at other men, look at other women. They might be like, yeah, that person's attractive, but they're going to be right back like a magnet on you. This person will be obsessed with you. I promise you guys. And I feel like it's something that you need because you have been burned by, you know, lesser men in the past or lesser women because what you're attracting is an emperor but i'm seeing in your past you have the king of wands the king of wands is is a step below the emperor the emperor is the alpha king of wands is a smaller wolf king of wands is a smaller man you know what i mean wink wink um what's coming in is a is a more someone with more power someone with more boundaries somebody strong but you've been burned in the past by lesser and weaker men and women. Um, so listen, this person's going to heal your wounds and really treat you the way you deserve. They're going to open the car door for you. They're going to pay for dinner. They're going to give you compliments. They're going to want to spend time with you. Um, when you're sad, you know, their heart will com crumble completely when you cry. You know that song by 505 Arctic Monkeys? you will be the soft spot in their heart where they will melt for you and they won't be lukewarm. They'll be boiling hot for you with the passion that you deserve. And that's something I felt was really channeled because I feel that a lot of you just no longer feel like you no longer feel like that kind of love exists or anyone could love you that way, but you're being reminded that it does exist and someone will love you that way and it's not unreasonable for you and they are manifesting you okay so let's go into your spirit guide messages and let's end this reading all right so let's see what messages that um god has for you in july and what's going on there? Okay. Um, 
let's take a look at it. We have the lion. I'm seeing an image of the lion, the angel of the universe. I'm seeing the symbol of Virgo, sun, moon, or rising. Um, what else am I getting here? Okay. It's time to get organized to go towards your goals. Group one, that's the spirit guide message I have for you, which I'm sure you already know, but it's time to follow a schedule. It's time to um, have a content posting schedule if you're also a creator or if you guys have dreams of having your own business, it's time to make lists, get organized and be disciplined in your workout routine, in your sleep routine, in your eating routine. Um, routine is very good for you. Discipline is good for you at this time because you have goals and the only way you're going to reach them is if you make a plan to reach them. Where you are doing good, um, oh, I see you have been sleeping very well and following a good sleep schedule. Good job. Also, I'm hearing that you've been really good at filtering out the noise in your life. Like when you feel like you're getting bad advice, um, you know not to listen to it. You do not listen to everything that comes your way anymore. And also I'm hearing you're very good at knowing when to speak and when not to speak. And your intuition about when it's not time to talk has been stronger. So you haven't been um, talking before you think it over. You've been thinking more before you speak and your spirit guides see that God sees that. And they want to encourage you to keep doing that because you're doing a good job. There's also this energy where I feel like you're respecting other people's personal boundaries. Um, very well. And also, you know, a lot of you might think, am I too closed off? Are my boundaries too strong and to the point where it's pushing people away? No, it's not. You guys are, you have a very good mix of having strong personal boundaries, but also being very open to those around you. That's something you need to know. You also are very good at listening to the cycles of your body and honoring the cycles of your body. Um, you have become very good at that. Like you no longer try to force yourself to be in a cycle that is not where you're at. You just sort of embrace the changes and embrace the cycles. I'm also hearing that uh, your grandparents are very proud of you. I didn't hear parents. I had grandparents. So someone's grandparents are very very proud of you and they find you to be inspiring and um they're proud of you okay so that is all the messages actually let's end with a blessing what can we uh bless Ooh, an adventure is coming your way with those that you love an adventure is coming your way for the with those that you love and doorways will be opened for you involving your dreams. So you guys have a dream that is very big. It's different for all of you and dreams can be very secret. Like I will never tell you guys what I'm my deepest, darkest dreams. I just keep it to myself because sometimes what you really yearn for in life is embarrassing a little bit and you don't want to share it with other people. So you guys have a deep dream of what you want for your future. And I think there will be a doorway opening up for you in July, leading you closer to that dream. And it's going to be a call to action to go on an adventure. An adventure is somewhere that... Um, you've never been before, and it's going to be a very valuable opportunity. So look out for that in July. Actually, let's get a date. Can we get a date, Holy Spirit, so they know to be extra vigilant, please? I'm hearing the 9th, the 10th, and the 12th. 9th 
double confirmation. But it could be any day, guys. All right, I will see you later. If that reading really resonated with you, I highly suggest you join my Patreon tier membership for eleven eleven a month. Patreon did this really fucked up thing where they say there's like a free tier, but that's not how you're gonna access all the content. You actually have to click join membership for eleven dollars and eleven cents a month for access to four psychic readings from me monthly, but I already have a whole collection of 200 different pick a card psychic readings already on my Patreon that you will have access to for only $11.11 a month, including how does your crush feel about you, what you need to focus on right now, what blessings are coming your way, what's coming for you in the next week. Every psychic question you need answered, you can get answered on my Patreon videos where these pick a cards are only on my Patreon. So, you know, join us over there. It's the cheapest psychic reading service ever for only $11 a month. And the link to join is in the pinned comment as well as the description. All right, group number two, what is up? It is your friend on the internet, Anita Serene. And it is going to be vocal style only today. Um, But if you like this style, be sure to join my Patreon. So group two, let's see what July has in store for you. Okay, so you have a lot of stuff you need to be proud of for. You have... You have accomplished a lot in your life, even if you don't feel that way. The things that you have accomplished, the things that you have done are very impressive and not a lot of people have reached um, the levels you have reached in your life in your unique way. And in July, the universe is really asking you to really celebrate yourself and how far you have come because you have come very far. Also, I'm hearing you guys are rating yourselves too low. Um, I don't really, I'm not a fan of the rating system. Um, I think a lot of the podcasts that come up on our feed and go viral, they are meant to trigger the reactive mind and it's supposed to be shocking to get you emotionally invested to grab your attention so you hit the subscribe button and you follow more of their content so I wouldn't take those podcasts at face value but I do feel like you guys significantly um, underestimate yourself in the looks department and underestimate yourself in the value in which you do bring to the table And this is apparent in how many uh, admirers that do come to you or how much compliments you get, attention you get, messages you get. Um, You guys definitely underestimate yourself over here. Now, I'm hearing you guys are a lot more charming than you give yourself credit for as well. So let's go to what you can expect in July with your money. So listen, your financial situation uh, might be a little, a little bit uh, challenged because you emotionally spend. When your situation ship does not text you back, you go on TikTok, on Amazon, on whatever online ad you see, and you buy everything that you like. You might also be quite an emotional eater where when you are sad, you grab the candy, the chips, or the fried food, whatever is your kryptonite. So you definitely have a tendency to overspend when you're happy or when you're really sad and you have a lot of cute clothes you have a lot of cute jewelry but you're also um, not investing your money wisely and you might be a little stressed about money Okay, Um, it feels like some of you might even be a little bit too generous where you um, give away a lot of things. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being majorly generous, by the way, guys. It's better to be generous than stingy. Being stingy is not a cute characteristic trait. It is a not attractive characteristic trait because us witchy bitches know that, and us spiritual goddesses know that when you are generous with others and you're generous with your time, like you are, the universe always pays you back in one way or another, right? You know that, guys. So now I do see you feeling very motivated in the month of 
July. Um, I'm seeing that you guys are going to be social, motivated, and feeling confident, which is a very, very good message. You know, some months we have months where we're more introverted, we're shyer, but I do see you being a lot more social and having a lot more courage and feeling a lot more confident than you have in previous months. All right, I'm also seeing for you guys, there is... Ooh, okay. There might be a change in your living situation that feels slightly unwanted. It might be time for a new living situation, group number two. And this is something you have been kind of wanting, but at the same time, you don't want it. It's very weird. I feel like there is something transpiring in July to help you with a new living situation. Let's see if we can get clarifiers on that. Um, I'm hearing this is something you can manifest, like manifesting the perfect rent, manifesting the perfect aesthetic for your apartment, manifesting that perfect home. This is something that there is a gateway for you to be able to manifest in July. Hey, Lisa. All right. I'm also seeing there is a Taurus, sun, moon, or rising who is interested in you romantically. I'm hearing they're like a Taurus or they have fire sign um, signs like Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Now, I have been doing tarot for many years, and one of my biggest pet peeves is when tarot readers name every single freaking zodiac sign in the book and you're like man this could be anybody but i am getting a strong taurus and a weaker aries sagittarius or leo who is interested in definitely dating you and pursuing you or is interested in you romantically they might have a little bit of a crush on you they might want to take you out regardless of if you're in a relationship or not so Let's see how you feel about this person. Oh, okay. Some of you guys are Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Risings, which means you are a Taurus or Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising, depending on if you practice sidereal or tropical astrology. I see you guys getting creative with your look in the month of July. Yes, I do. I see you getting very creative. I see you um, are doing a lot of inward changes to your personality, who, what you used to like is changing. So you've been doing a lot of inward changes, group two, that are going to start showing as you get way more creative and try different styles in the month of July. That's where your creativity is really coming out. Okay. Um, so... As for your health, be careful of your health group number two. Um, some of you, I want to tell you straight up, you guys might have uh, anxiety over, oh my gosh, am I about to have a stroke? Oh my gosh, am I about to have a heart attack? Oh my gosh, do I have diabetes? Oh my gosh, do I have this incurable disease? I'm getting a lot of anxiety regarding your health where you are thinking the worst case scenario about your health like oh i have cancer oh i have this incurable disease oh i have no i'm seeing um jupiter coming through so your health issues are fine it's all in your head it's mainly anxiety and if you were to go to the doctor to back that up you would see that there was nothing to worry about in the first place okay now in regards to your love life i do see um, some positive shifts that are finally manifesting for you in love. And I'm hearing something about commitment, commitment, a committed partnership where both of you honor each other's trust. I'm getting, um, for some reason, I'm really feeling and seeing medieval times or like the Renaissance festival or something very Renaissance-y, something very Lord of the Rings-y coming in through for you, for um, your union, your partnership. I'm hearing the month of September. I'm also hearing the zodiac sign of Virgo. Let's get into your love life for July. All right, so group number two, let's pick up your energy and look here. Let's get your energy. So I feel like in love, you want that slow burn relationship. Like, 
deep down what you want is a slow burn I feel like your soul is wanting like when I'm reading your energy your soul is definitely wanting to start off as being friends with somebody and let that friendship grow into something deeper and more committed so I'm definitely getting the sense that you um you would like to start out friends first no Lisa get down get down hold on guys I have to get my dog before she puts her dirty paws on my bed hold on okay so yeah like I was saying you want that slow burn relationship and I think you really want like a partner that's going to be your friend who allows you to be a free spirit um who you know allows you to be the free spirit that you are without holding you down let's see I'm also getting like manic pixie dream boy, manic pixie dream girl vibes coming from you. You're definitely not like the mother boys. You're not like the mother girls. Not like the other ones is what I'm hearing (laughs) in love. That's how you come off. So let's see what you're getting in love in July. What are you getting in love in July? Confusion. Someone's leaving you confused. How do you might be wondering... What someone thinks about you, do they even like you? Someone might be giving you mixed signals. Um, You might not know how your love interest feels about you in July, and it's leaving you a bit confused. And we are going to definitely get some clarifiers on that for you. But let's see who you're attracting in the month of July. Who is group two attracting in July? Well, listen, I think someone is going to, um, there's someone you're attracting who shows their love for you through gift giving. So they will give you little tokens of their affection. That's the kind of person that you're attracting in July. They could also be born in the winter or you could have met them in the winter. So they could have been born or you met them in November, December, December, January, February, beginning of March. Okay. I'm also hearing this person could be a winter in color analysis, which means they look best with really dark hair, kind of like Dita Von Tees and Megan Fox. I'm pretty sure they're dark winter in um, color analysis. And if you look at both of these gorgeous ladies and fashion icons, they do have, you know, very dark black hair and pale white skin, kind of resembling Snow White. And if you are like, Anita, that's me. Well, then you know what I mean? You could be attracting somebody who looks an awful lot like you. Twin flame vibe. Um, Now, the person that you're attracting, I feel like there has been a frozen season between the two of you, which means there has been no progress in your relationship and they're not very expressive with their emotions. They're not very expressive with their feelings. Um, they keep their feelings frozen and under wraps. I think they're going to surprise you with a gift or surprise you with like a token of love that shows their feelings that takes you by surprise because you're going to be like, I didn't realize you felt that way about me. But what I want to do, guys, is the person on your mind that's leaving you confused, how do they feel about you in July? Let's grab the tarot cards and take a look at that. So what I want you to do is I want you to focus your energy on thinking about the person on your mind and really close your eyes and think about them and only them. And my cards will pick up the energy because time is not linear. It's happening all at once. So group two, for your person, how do they feel about you in July? What is their truth of their heart? What is the truth? Who else loves that Beyonce song? I pray the Lord he reveal what his truth is. They're saying our relationship is beyond repair. I have nothing else to give. So your person wants to tell you they feel like 
giving up on the relationship. They feel like they have tried everything to open you up. They feel like they've tried everything to get you to trust them. They feel like they have done everything to try and make this relationship work. And they're kind of wondering, will we ever be able to really make this relationship work? Because they have so much resentment from everything that has happened. Um, Everything that has been said, they almost feel like the relationship is stained and tainted and it can't be bleached out. And they're starting to second guess the relationship because of all of the things you guys have been through and all of the disagreements, you know. Let's uh, get some more truth of their heart, please, Holy Spirit. Okay, they're saying, I'm afraid of expressing my feelings and have you reject me. My ego will not be able to handle it. This is why you are confused, group two. They don't express their feelings. They do not express their feelings. They show you through the gifts, but they are... They're not trying to have deep, intimate conversations. Um, They come off very cold. They're not expressive. And the reason why is because they're deeply afraid of opening up completely emotionally and getting rejected. And that is why you are confused. And that's why you're getting mixed signals from this person. Do they feel anything for you? Let's. They feel like their soul is connected to yours. They see your name everywhere. They see your birthday number everywhere. They see people that look like you everywhere where they almost feel like it's you. And then they really look and the person's not you. So I understand why you're confused here. All right. So group to your person honestly they want you to make the first move they will not be communicating or making the first move because this person is a poor communicator and I don't think that will ever change so you have to decide whether or not that is okay with you I think they want you to um be the one to move towards them and they want to spend more time with you. This person wants to go out and experience things with you, um, like go on dates to the aquarium, the zoo, or the movies or out to dinner. They love how you're tall. So some of you guys might be a little more on the taller side. They do really like that about you. And if you're not tall, I'm hearing, you know, you do have a soft spot in their heart because physically you are their type. Um, so like the way you look is exactly their type to a T. So you do have a soft spot, um, in their heart for you. Now, what they're thinking is they're trying to imagine a future with you and they're getting a little bit troubled because of your lifestyle choices, or maybe they, have envisioned a future with you and they thought that um, it might not be healthy for them in the future due to some of your habits. I heard that as well. Their next actions is I think they're never going to admit fully how they feel about you or the extent of their feelings, but you'll be able to read it very obviously on their body language because they won't be able to stop staring at you. Their pupils will be very dilated and they will raise their eyebrows when they talk to you. So this person will never communicate fully how they feel, but they do like you and they will communicate it very obviously through their facial expressions. Now, they do feel as though you are entertaining someone else, possibly someone at work. Um, They see you as somebody who maybe isn't loyal or maybe is not faithful or could be entertaining somebody else on the side. So I think they have a hard time trusting you because they do wonder if you are talking to other people. And the outcome of this for the two of you is... Guys, believe it or not, the outcome between the two of you looks very good. Um, I do feel that the feelings between you two are going to continue to grow, and I see them getting stronger and a deeper sense of intimacy 
pulling you guys together like a magnet where your energies kind of just can't stay away from one another. So actually, based on what I saw earlier in the reading, I do sense this is headed into a committed, stable relationship. And if this is something you have been manifesting or saying affirmations about or listening to subliminals over, I do see that happening. So what we're going to do, guys, is I want to end with spirit guide messages um, for you on what it is that you need to hear for July. And we're also going to get into messages such as what you are doing good, where you are doing a good job, where I hype you up as well as gas you up because, you know, we could all use that once in a while. Let's get into it. Oops, sorry guys, I had to burp. I just had to burp real bad Um, and I probably won't edit it out because I want to get this on time. So just uh, excuse me that that just slipped out. (laughs) Okay, so group two. Let's see what you need to hear for July. Um, Spend more time outdoors in nature. This is really going to ground you into the present moment. And, you know, when you're in the present moment, that's when you're the most sexy. That's when you're the most beautiful. That's when you're the most seductive. Um, People that are present and very much in the present moment, those people are generally the most influential as well as they exude an air of confidence. So if you're wondering how to do that, I see you spending more time out in nature. I also see an opportunity for you to travel with loved ones. So that is beautiful. I'm also seeing um, you doing a lot of hiking, believe it or not, outdoors. And this is going to bring you a lot of happiness and uplift your mood. And also really help with your energy levels and vitality. Love that. Where are you guys doing good? Where are you guys doing good? You guys are doing really good at making wise decisions, especially in real estate. That is a very ultra specific message, but some of you guys have been making wise investments or wise decisions in real estate in um, rental properties. And if some of you guys are realtors, I just got to say that You know, you're doing a good job with that. Let's see what else we have here. You're also uh, really good at your relationship with the food is healing, which means you are eating healthier, but you also spoil yourself with a little treat sometimes. So your relationship with food is very healthy and has healed a lot. Um, You can indulge in sweet pleasures but also practice restraint, which a lot of people can't, but you can. You're also doing good at not getting pregnant. Like maybe some of you guys are like, you know, like using protection because we have baby come out in reverse. Some of you guys know you shouldn't be mothers or fathers and you're doing a really good job at preventing that. Um, some of you guys are maybe even having the revelation that the men you're with aren't worthy of having children. So you're doing a really good job at not picking deadbeat baby daddies. And you're also doing a really good job of practicing safe sex. So you don't end up with a baby that is unwanted. This is so specific. I'm like cringing because like sometimes these messages come out and I'm like, okay, you're also doing a very good job at remaining disciplined and structured and organized and you are very mature more so than most people and also you've been doing better at speaking more positive things into the universe as well these are all ways that you're doing good um that was very random and very specific so what i'm going to do is i want to see what blessings are coming to you in july so the first blessing i'm seeing here for you is I'm definitely getting an energy of your mother or your father or love interest is going to give you a gift that really expresses how much they love you. And it might not be worth a lot, but the sentimental, thoughtful gesture of it is really going to strike your heart and make you feel very loved. Another blessing I'm seeing is... 
people might actually start, you're going to rise above the competition at work or your work speaks for itself. So while other people are busy spreading workplace drama, workplace gossip, your work speaks for itself and it's going to get you noticed. And I'm seeing a lot of victory coming to you based on whatever you have been dedicating your time on. Whether that is a project or if you, you've been very focused on some sort of ambitious pursuit, some creation, your work is speaking for itself. And while other people are starting drama, getting into arguments, um, you're being recognized for the quality of your work. That is the messages I heard. I hope that was helpful and I will see you later. If that reading really resonated with you, I highly suggest you join my Patreon tier membership for 11.11 a month. Patreon did this really fucked up thing where they say there's like a free tier, but that's not how you're going to access all the content. You actually have to click join membership for $11.11 a month for access to four psychic readings from me monthly, but I already have a whole collection of 200 different pick a card psychic readings already on my Patreon that you will have access to for only 11 11 a month, including how does your crush feel about you, what you need to focus on right now, what blessings are coming your way, what's coming for you in the next week. Every psychic question you need answered, you can get answered on my Patreon videos where these pick a cards are only on my Patreon. So, you know, join us over there. It's the cheapest psychic reading service ever for only $11 a month. And the link to join is in the pinned comment as well as the description. Okay, so group number three, welcome to your July prediction for all areas of life, love, career, as well as money. For those of you guys who picked this option right here, and let me tell you something, this is going to be an audio only reading because I was running late this month and blah, blah, blah. But if you like this format, this is the format of my Patreon. So, you know, if you want to support me, check it out. I got 200 videos on there. All right. So group three, let's get into it. Enough with the introductions. Just wanted to shuffle the cards a bit. So let's take a look here. Let's take a look here. So I'm seeing here that you guys are very creative people. You are definitely artists. You are writers. You are unconventional. You are multi-talented. You are very capable as well. Um, if you want to know how others perceive you, they perceive you as someone who is very talented, who is very capable, who is going to get the job done and be the best at what you do. Um, but also you surprise people all of the time with your different creative skills. They're like shocked when you come out with a new talent. They're like, not only are they good at makeup, they can play the piano and they can sing and they can dress and they, and they can do, you know, you're constantly shocking people with the tricks you pull out of your bag. It's very, um, inspiring actually. You guys are a manifester as well, and you know that, and you are a successful manifester. What manifestations are coming into fruition for you in July? We have the flower moon. If you have been manifesting a glow up, I definitely um, see that happening for you. You know, it's funny. Some of you could be manifestation teachers or manifestation coaches, but if not that, I just really get the sense that you are very talented manifestors. Maybe recently you have been lacking faith in manifestation or lacking faith in wishes because it's been taking a long time to manifest. But in July, you will you will see something manifest. And you know what's funny, group three? I feel like you've gotten to the point where... You're, you've just given up on manifestation. You've given up on magic. You've given up on affirmations. You're just like, you know what? I give up on wanting this thing. And as soon as you have given up and let go, something is about to sprout ironically in your reality. And I think the biggest thing is looking the way that you want in your body and in your physical appearance. And maybe even some of you were manifesting as well to have more um, love options or get more compliments or something like that. I do see that happening for you as well. 
So let's get into the other aspects of your life, group number three. I do see there will be some struggles around money. Um, I definitely feel, you know, July might be a troubling time when it comes to your money situation. Maybe some of you just feel like you're not where you should be. You feel a little behind in life. You feel like um, maybe even possibly that you're stressed about money because you have to move again. I'm hearing, uh, ask for support from others. People will come in and support you in your time of need. All right. So let's see what else is going on. I'm getting, um, there is this energy of you have been very tired. You have been very sleepy. I'm almost getting a vibe where you guys are depressed, but you don't know you're depressed. And it just manifests as you being tired and unmotivated. But something is going to jolt you awake in the month of July that um, makes you feel more invested in your material reality. And it could honestly be like a male friend, guys. I'm seeing a really good male friend come in for you who kind of just pulls you out of your depression. Okay. I'm also getting, um, I see you reuniting with someone from your past as well. And I'll tell you why. Saturn is going retrograde all throughout July until November of 2024. And Saturn retrograde is a retrograde. So a lot of people from the past, a lot of past things come up. And because Saturn is retrograding in the sign of Aquarius, which rules electronics and the internet, um, I definitely sense that it's going to act a lot like a Mercury retrograde. Now, specifically, I'm seeing this person you are reuniting with has um, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra prominent. They're coming out as the King of Swords, and that's generally someone who is not emotional, relies more on logic, can be kind of cold, quiet, standoffish, thoughtful, and um, there is unfinished business with this person. And I feel this person from the past definitely re-entering your life in July because there are some loose ends that need to be tied up. This was a major soul connection. You guys are very similar to each other. There's a lot of emotions and uncut cords and unfinished business that has happened between the two of you. It could be a family member or a love interest, but I do see them coming in July. Now, um, ooh, I'm being called to reshuffle the deck. Sometimes that happens. We have to remove unstuck energy here. So let's do that. Let's remove some unstuck energy. All right, so let's see what else is going on for you. I'm also seeing a Libra here who wants to date you. Okay, I'm definitely seeing that. Um, and it's someone you already know. It's someone from your past, which you already know. This is not a new person. This Libra wants to come in and fight for a chance to take you out. Even if you're already in a committed relationship, there's someone you know from your past. How do you feel about them? You feel like they're very attractive. You feel like they look good. Um, and also you guys might have one point imagined yourself marrying this person or having their children. And for some of you, you did marry this person and you did have their children. But I'm also getting this energy too, guys, where I see you guys having a lot of fun with your family members or the women in your family uh, in July, you know, like your sister, your mother, your aunts, the women in your family. I see you guys getting together in July and having a really good time. So let's get into the, your health. What is your health situation in July? What is your health situation in July? All right, your health isn't bad, but it's not great. I'm seeing surrounding your health, there might have been some overindulgence in alcohol, 
in bad types of food, maybe not treating our body as well as we could be treating our body, you know, forgetting to get a manicure and pedicure, even if you're a guy, forgetting to brush your teeth, forgetting to lotion your body, forgetting to take care of yourself well, that is leaving you some health troubles or just not feeling great about yourself. So be sure to, you know, prioritize yourself party a little less, overextend yourself a little less, and that should fix your health right up. But otherwise, I don't see anything too troubling. Now, when it comes to your love life, there is some deception surrounding your love life group number three. And don't worry, I know your reading was a little more troubling than the last two. But I will tell you this, I'm going to end on where you are doing good and the blessings coming your way. So we're going to end on a positive note. But as we're entering into your love situation in July, I am seeing some deceptive energy or you feeling like, You cannot trust the people in your life or you cannot trust somebody that you're seeing or you feel like someone you're seeing is being secretive or deceptive. And we're going to go ahead and see if that is true or not. All right. So let's get your energy and love group number three. What is your energy? So you guys are little witches. You like to... Um, say affirmations to make people want you. You like to do sleep meditations to get your specific person to want you. You do law of attraction to attract love. And you have definitely um, dabbled in some energetic practices to get what you want in love. And in the small chance, that's not you. But I think for most of you, it is. You got that something special that puts under puts people under a trance, under your hypnotic trance. And you know how to get and keep people's attention and love. Let's see who you're attracting in the month of July. Who are you attracting in the month of July? Okay. And then... Who, what are you getting in love in July? Let's get one more. Let's pick up the energy here in your love life. All right. You guys, it looks to me you are trying to manifest somebody or you're wishing for someone who is, is just not emotionally available. And there are numerous reasons why this person isn't emotionally available. One could be they're hung up on people who don't want them because they struggle internally with self-love. It could be because they prioritize their friendships. They're happily being single. They just don't, you know, it kind of feels like you guys are trying to manifest somebody who has turned their back on you, who has rejected you, who has made it very clear they don't want a relationship or who's not even looking in your direction. That's honestly what it looks like. You are casting spells on somebody who has rejected you, ignored you, or isn't even paying attention to you. And, you know, it looks like (laughs) let's see if it's working. How does this person feel about you? It might be working. Who am I to judge? Is it working? How does this person feel about you? Listen, your intuition has been telling you that this person is hiding something. They're giving you mixed signals. They're being unclear. And it looks like you're trying to put all of this good energy towards them, but they're not even seeing you. Their back is turned to you. And I think you need to listen to your intuition. Now, I will tell you a little something about intuition, there was this revelation I had that your intuition can tell you something is up, that they're hiding something, but the conclusion that you jump to can sometimes be wrong. So let's say your body is telling you that this person's being deceptive, they're hiding something, there's something off. You might jump to the conclusion that they're cheating on you, right? But actually what it is, is they've been very worried because um, they're kind of not doing well at work. 
and no one seems their friends don't like them and other things are going on. So they're acting closed off because they're worried about that, but they have too much pride to tell you that. And it's really not that they're cheating, but listen to your intuition because you're right. Something is off. They are hiding something from you, but the conclusion you jump to is normally when that part of your intuition is shaky. So um, I can't tell you what's going on just on a general tarot reading, but they definitely are hiding something. Um, For some of you, you might have been like, I feel like this person's already in a committed relationship, you know, and I'm their side piece. And maybe that is the case. Um, Maybe their family, they know their family wouldn't accept you and they're hiding you. Or maybe they're already involved with somebody else and that's why they're running away or acting sketchy. I don't know. But, you know, listen to your intuition because this person is definitely taking a very passive role in this connection and they're being very avoidant. And there is a reason for that. What's the reason this person's being avoidant? What is the reason this person is being avoidant? They might feel like, The relationship is moving too fast for them. They might feel like they want to take things slow and have things go at a more slow burn rate where you guys are friends for many years and then you fall into a relationship. They might feel like they want to develop more trust with you and they might feel the relationship is just moving too fast and they're getting cold feet and they're just kind of running away from you because they want more of that slow burn relationship that starts out as friends where you slowly grow into love instead of a passionate affair. And that might be why they're, you know, very emotionally cold. That might be why they come in and out of your life. That might be why they're kind of backing off because they feel like it's moving too fast. And you know, they're, um, they're getting like scared, you know, and I've been there guys. I know that sounds like an excuse. I used to think it was an excuse, but I've been there where a guy was just showing me too much interest. And even though I really liked him, I got scared. Like I just needed space because I just felt so overwhelmed by the attention that I shut down. And I feel like that I'm getting that feeling, this person, they do like you. Um, they do, have passion for you, but you know, they're, they're definitely more avoidant. They're slow mover and it's kind of like scaring them how much attention you're giving them. And really they just need you to be more chill and to give them more space and to the, let, let you, let them come to you pretty much. And that's why they're acting weird. I, I feel for most of you. Um, I think this person's taking a more passive approach. Okay. Let's see how, let's see how, let's get some more clues about, you know, this person that you're dealing with. Can I get in July? Let's get a um, card that describes them. They don't know what they want and it's clear. They're walking contradiction. They say they love the sun, but then when the sun comes out, they say they hate it and they prefer the rain. This person's confused and you see them as a mystery that you can't solve or a mystery you can't figure out because as soon as you think they're one way, they change and they're constantly changing. And I just think this person is lost and they contradict themselves and they don't know what they want. And that's why they're coming off as confusing or like a puzzle you're trying to solve what's in their head for you what's in their heart for you what they want with you their next actions towards you um if you're wondering if this person is going to take action towards you i highly doubt it or it's going to be very slow action like moving at a snail's pace or like don't hold your breath waiting for this person with the saturn card coming out the outcome how they see you And guys, like, listen, I don't mean to sound harsh, but I feel like this person sees you begging for their attention and they might feel like you're afraid to be alone. And I'm just giving you the honest truth. I don't necessarily think that is the case. It's just that a lot of the times when avoidance see that 
you really like them, it makes them think there's something wrong with you. And I feel like this person knows that you really like them. Um, they can tell, they can see that you really like them. And I feel like they're looking at you like what's wrong with you because they don't feel worthy of it. And so they're kind of seeing you in this negative light and you don't want to be around people who pity you or think you're desperate when in reality, you guys are not desperate at all. You just really like this person. Like you guys have options. You guys have people in your DMs. You guys have simps. You guys have a uh, date options, but you chose this person because you like this person. Um, but this person hates themselves so much that they think because you're choosing them, there's something wrong with you. So you must be desperate. You must be alone. You must be thirsty when in reality, you're not at all. So honestly, I would be offended that this person sees you this way because it's not, it's not who you are. And that's really annoying. Okay. What they want with you they don't know what they want because they don't even know what they want for themselves, you know? Um, guys, if you ever are heartbroken of this person, just know in about 10 years, they're going to be bald, okay? In about 10, 20 years, this, this person's going to be bald. They're going to look like Smeagol from Lord of the Rings. So if you ever get in your feels about this person treating you like shit, like they ain't going to age well, baby. And just imagine them bald. I almost heard that Courtney Love quote where she was like, this guy broke my heart, so I hexed him, and now he's bald. I almost get that sense where that might happen to you with this person. Fuck this person. This person is not seeing you for who you truly are because they hate themselves. Um, who you truly are is you're actually quite popular, y'all. Like, you must have social media clout. You must be funny or hot or something that makes you stand out. You're popular. You know what you want. You're creative. You have all of these great qualities about you, but they cannot see that side of you because they just are like, why, do, why are they choosing me? Are they desperate? Is there something wrong? Um, and it's just a reflection of their own negative self-beliefs because honestly, low key, you kind of even know you're settling for this person and accepting less than you deserve with this person. All right. So let us end with, uh, what do you need to hear from the universe? I don't know why I started talking in a very bad British accent maybe somebody here is in a relationship with someone from britain i do not know there we go it's good cheerio i'm sorry guys like i'm literally i was just possessed by a british demon just then. <laughs> okay so let's um <laughs> okay Let's, sorry, I just got the, I just got like the, the laughs real bad. Yeah. All right. So let's go into the, um, oop. let's go into what you need to hear for, um, July and what good things are coming to you. I know your pile is a little heavier, guys. I'm so sorry. Like, I'll probably get this pile, to be honest with you. I mean, my life's been like a... It has not been ideal over here either. So we in the same boat, girl. Or guy. Whatever. So, what good things are coming to you in July? Let's end with that. What good things are coming to you in july what good things are coming to you in july mercury retrograde i just saw the mercury retrograde so listen if you want to know what good thing is coming to you someone from the past is definitely coming back and it's somebody that it'll be a pleasant encounter when they come back it won't be an unwanted one so Lots of people from your past have been thinking about you and they're coming back to make a re-entry way. And you want to know why, group three? Because I feel like you are really climbing the ladder of success in your job. And when that happens, you have people who see you ascending and they're impressed. They want to come back. So expect in July, lots of people from the past to come back um, into 
your life. You're also going to see um, light bulbs flickering a lot or your electricity might go out at work, which gives you a day off. I heard that very strongly, guys. Like some of you, the electricity or the internet might go out at work or the AC might go out and then they close the day and you get a day off or something like positive like that is happening where the electronics malfunction, but the malfunction actually works out to your favor because you get a day off or you don't have to go into work. I really sense that, guys. Like, I know that sounds crazy, but like, for real, for real. Um, Also, I'm hearing like an idea that you had in the past that you never fully created. Um, You're going to finish that idea and it's going to be successful. It's like, Maybe you had a project or an idea that you were excited about, but you never worked on it or you just never did it. You just got bored. You're going to pick that back up, pick that idea back up in July and finish it. And it's going to be really successful. And I'm also getting like, you're going to get a lot of ideas um, that just come to you because a lot of you guys have been spending a lot of time alone. You've been feeling lonely as hell, even if you're not alone. You've been feeling lonely, but in this loneliness, it's helping uh, channel these brilliant ideas. And also I heard if you guys have been through a um, a period of hermit mode or solitude because you've been very busy working towards your goals and you don't have a lot of friends, I see one of the blessings coming in for you is friendship in the month of July where you can honestly be your true and real self and you know, they vibe with your energy and your energy is just meshed together and they love you unconditionally. I'm seeing a good friend uh, coming in for you in July. They could have their sun in Gemini, Gemini sun, moon or rising. And I do strongly feel like this is someone you already know. I don't feel like it is a new person. They're going to be your biggest cheerleader um, in you pursuing your dreams. So watch out for that. And um they're going to see the best in you, unlike this love interest. So I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you later. If that reading really resonated with you, I highly suggest you join my Patreon tier membership for eleven eleven a month. Patreon did this really fucked up thing where they say there's like a free tier, but that's not how you're going to access all the content. You actually have to click join membership for $11 and 11 cents a month for access to four psychic readings from me monthly. But I already have a whole collection of 200 different pick a card psychic readings already on my Patreon that you will have access to for only $11.11 a month, including how does your crush feel about you, what you need to focus on right now, what blessings are coming your way, what's coming for you in the next week. Every psychic question you need answered, you can get answered on my Patreon videos where these pick a cards are only on my Patreon. So, you know, join us over there. It's the cheapest psychic reading service ever for only $11 a month. And the link to join is in the pinned comment as well as the description.